dudes talking in a truck here. I've got uh, Mike and uh, my boy Aaron from did Stain. Push, did you push record? No, hey guys, thanks for hanging with me, man. What's up, man? It's good to see you again. Yeah, man. you too, Mike. It's been a minute for sure. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, I think I've seen, well, St. Estonia, I saw you yeah, guys. Yeah, Rock in the Range, I think it's the last time I remember seeing yes. you. Yes. I remember that, and Aaron, good to see you too, man. Good to see it's you, It's been bro. a little while. Do you guys have kids? Yeah. Yeah, my kids are here, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Were, were they hanging out? Did I see you walking with them? No, you didn't. They were on the oh. bus when I started. I got stopped by Danny. I had come Well, those are the kids that he had just grabbed from the toy store. <laughs> <laughs> with, my, with my van, with no windows. So, uh, and how old are your, your kids? Uh, like? They're 12. Both? I mean, yeah. so yeah, what? Yeah, twins. Oh, twins. wow. Yeah. Girls or dudes? One of each. Whoa! Yeah. Knocked it out of the park in one yeah. shot. Damn, what a lucky mother <laughs> effort. That is good. I mean, that, that hasn't that... gotten laid since. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, actually, I don't even know if I did then. They... Never mind, I don't say that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no. We were in Europe at the time. I don't know how that happened. Twins, huh? 12 years. And when you found out, Mike, dude, I can't even imagine. I was shocked. Like, it's probably but how it's awesome nerve wracking. A boy and a girl, Lies. boom, done. But did you know it was a boy? A boy and a girl. We did. Time. We knew very early on. Wow. What it was, we did. Because she, you know what, with twins, and then, um, she wasn't feeling well, you know. So we went to, you know, make sure everything was cool and everybody was healthy. And uh, so we found all that stuff out pretty early on in the pregnancy. Wow. God bless. That's pretty cool, man. Aaron, what about you? Yeah, I've got a 17-year-old senior Crazy. that has her own car now and is driving. Oh, dude. A 14-year-old freshman and a and an almost 12-year-old. Oh wow! I have yeah, I have 13 year old eighth grader, 16 year old junior, and she's getting her driver's license when I get back from this trip. Oh, man, that's wow! Awesome. How did how was that, Aaron? Was that was it scary? Uh, I mean, she's a good driver. Yeah. I got video of her driving my my 66 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. Nice. Rolling, and she didn't even have her license yet. She was just testing. She, I was taking her for a, a, a learner. Did you class. teach him how to drive early on, like before? We've always had side by sides, so they're always they were always driving those four wheelers around the around uh, the yeah. yard. Yeah. Oh, so they so they are they already had the oh, concept. Good. Yeah. Already had the concept of driving before they ever got behind the wheel of a car. That's so cool. I, I taught my oldest daughter how to drive because we were big fans of The Walking Dead, and I just wanted her to be able to drive it. <laughs> A zombie apocalypse. So I was like, you're gonna, you gotta get your family, get your sister, go, and you gotta know how to drive. And she's all right, Dad. When she was 13, I started teaching you got her how to drive. Put away and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, you know what? You know. Um, you know what gave me a, um, a what? What are they called? Um, uh, a bug out bag or a bug out? Uh, Andrew Wilkow. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew. Uh, he's a, a DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, I know. On, on the Patriot yeah. Channel yeah. at Sirius XM. He's yeah. a big time uh, fan of. Heavy metal and hard rock is a friend of mine. I know Aaron. You've been on a show a yeah, few times. Yeah, uh, as often as I can go on a show, he's my friend too. I uh, talk to him, talk to like him on a pretty regular basis. Dude, shout out to Andrew. But Andrew was the one that gave me the bug out bag list, and I think it's like a two page list. And I remember trying to like hunt down some of that stuff and really? ordering some of that on Amazon. And right. my family was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I had to buy a, a gas mask, but I, but I didn't. But they're kind of expensive, like with the charcoal filters. So I only bought one. That'll be for me. You guys are screwed. <laughs> but dude, they were like 200 bucks, right? I mean, they're expensive. I mean, so I'm thinking, so when I got it and I showed it to the family, they were like, what are, what are, well, who's is that for? I was like, well, you know. <laughs> we gotta draw straws. <laughs> we'll, get we'll get to that, all right? I didn't know they were two hundred dollars. Do you have gas masks, Aaron? You probably have one of those uh, ones for weed smoke. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah. we have a, a a store of good for twenty five years. Oh, so yeah. You oh, you, do you have something like a like a storage tank and stuff? I, I have a walk in vault in my house that was was there when I bought it. It's not even in the house, it's up in the barn. Did you buy it because of that? Was that a No. No, but I always kept my guitars in there and this the the corner was was all of those uh, was all of those 
uh, like they're freeze dried, good for wow. it's, it's almost Crazy, like right? space food, you know. Do you have something like that, Mike? I love it. <laughs> I'm just going with it. Well, you have to understand. You're gonna come to Aaron's you, have, you gotta understand where I live. The times when the police have been uh, called because of the alarm going off or stuff, it's an hour and a half. Mm. Yeah, it's an hour and a half for a, for police to show up. That's scary. That's so crazy. you know, what if that alarm was an intruder in my house? Yeah. Massachusetts has some of the most stringent, ridiculous gun laws in the country See and all it does is leave the law-abiding citizen which is me defenseless against something like that when the cops I'm supposed to wait for the cops no 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 you're doing the right thing you got it going on <laughs> crazy <laughs> man well I hope I mean you think there's gonna be zombies coming you think I zombies know, coming I don't. you don't think Do you guys believe in aliens no aliens? No, I don't. I don't necessarily. I, mean, I, I, don't, I, I don't think that we. It's impossible that we're the only oh, life yeah. forms that, in, the ga in yeah, this right. whole galaxy. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, I think you, it's kind of you know. There's other this... planets that that have similar ecosystems and, yep. and oxygen and everything else yep. within its whole thing. But it's just endless out there, right? So to think that we're the only one. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think there's. I don't know. I think that kind of. It's real, no man. Yeah. I don't know, but I do. I do. Were you I, storming Area Fifty One two weeks no, ago? No, no. Sure. But we did play some like Hangar Eighteen on the <laughs> air and stuff. And uh, insane, insane, dude. I am a massive fan, as you guys know. It's great to have you guys back doing these shows. When it was first announced that Stain was going to be at some of these DWP fests, uh, we were all very excited. Uh, um, you know, how does it feel to get up great. there and play some songs from Dysfunction it's and some of this good. other stuff? Right? Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, I could tell. I mean, you know, I saw I saw a lot of people, and they were like uh, from Louder Than Life that saw you guys there, and they were like, "Oh, Jose, you're gonna be stoked, man!" So I can't wait. I was talking to Aaron today, and you guys are playing like, a bunch of songs from Dysfunction. Twenty years this year. Wait, is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, ninety nine. April ninety nine. April ninety nine was when our first record came yeah. out. Wow. We got our we got our record deal, and we recorded our first record in in the the summer and fall of ninety eight. Yeah. Okay. So, wow. I mean, really, technically, it, it was in April of 99. It was, when when did we actually get the record deal? Yeah. May like, or April or May March, of, yeah, something like that. of 98. 98. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's, it's, I bet you it's cool. And I know, Aaron, um, you're not used to playing the heaviness that is the heavy of stain, right? I mean, I, mean, I it, haven't done it in a while. Yeah. And I'm old now <laughs> and I and I gave myself bicep tendonitis <sighs> from pounding so much metal did you do you know that Mike I, mean, I didn't I, know that till just now yeah. we walked up before we got that. in the Jeep we were uh, yeah we were I just I, I missed Phil and Selmo and the and the illegals yeah. today because I was in the doctor's office getting five cortisone shots in my shoulder is that the first time you had to do something like that yeah I ain't afraid of it anymore, though. I went from they have to really get ready, in there with that I, needle too, right? Yeah, it, but it wasn't anything compared to the to the pain that I was in. So what, how that big, was on a constant. It was like a constant seven for the last four days, and there was no to lay in bed and there's you feel it? I, I couldn't fall asleep. Good, yeah. I, I'd, I'd sleep out of exhaustion for little little clips at a time, and it would wake me up. Wow, that's the worst. And it set in. It was it was pretty well set in by Tuesday. Wow! And I, now. I went I until get, now to yeah. get. At I, least you I took just, care of it, dude. At least you know what I'm saying. I mean, I know yeah. you're stoked. Extra let's, aggro let's, this evening. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go do some push-ups or something. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Might not be good for the shoulder. Throwing a heavy song, you know, throwing a heavier song tonight or something, man. For but sure. that's cool. I mean, so, uh, I mean, how does it feel to be up there? I mean, you guys are. You guys. Is there any new? Any talk about anything beyond I playing mean, there's, some shows? There's, there's always stupid talk about stupid <laughs> shit. But. You know, I personally think that the days of making records as a record is dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people don't consume it that way. Yep. Why should we try to to stay within the mold of something that doesn't fucking exist anymore? 
I, I don't understand yeah. what the point of that is. People don't consume music as a whole record anymore, so why try to do it that way? So you guys, um, so that leads me to ask, and maybe a possibility of just new a new song. I don't know. People yeah. talk about a lot of stupid <laughs> shit. <laughs> and um, I know, Aaron, you've been busy for a bunch of years, and Mike, you too, with Saint Estonia. I know yeah. you guys have a new release coming out in uh, country. Yeah, 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 dude. So, um, Mike, yeah, uh, the album isn't isn't it coming out like in this month? Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Second release? Yeah. Yeah, we're jamming. Uh, the, you guys did a song with Sully from Godsmack. Yeah. Yeah. That's, Sweet. Man. Yeah. Sully. Did you know that? I know. Oh, yeah. He didn't tell me <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, do your country, um, you know, uh, music has really, you know, turned on a lot of people to, to you, I think, in, in, in big ways. And I've you know, been, congratulations yeah, on that, great. dude. I've been very lucky. Yep. And it's, it's done really without any radio help, without any sort of support from the but from the, the industry out. side of things. I just go out and I work hard. And I've every record I've put out so far on the country side of things has debuted number one on the country yeah. album charts. And uh, with no with no help. I guess on that first run, when I was promoting That Ain't Country and everybody kept asking me what it was about and I was honest with them, I guess the program directors didn't like that very much. Yeah, no, well, I mean, I know you had I know you had a, a hard hey, time I, you know, at Country sometimes, Radio. Sometimes you make the bed that you have to lie in. I, I totally understand it. Life is, life is that way. And I might have had something to do with, with the alienation that I've experienced because... I'm not quiet about my politics. I'm not quiet about my opinion. I, I tend to not really have that good of a filter. And I, You're authentic, I, bro. I, I wear my shit on my sleeve and 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 I don't know, you know, I turn people off. And I guess that's just part of being me. But it's all but you know, again, it's um you have I mean you're you. You gotta be you. You got, you know what I'm saying? You can't, if you're trying to be somebody that you're not, then nobody likes to do that, you know? Sure. So, you're doing it, man. You got anything new coming in that world? Uh, I just Something? put out a record a few months ago. Uh, April, actually. I, it came out the day before my birthday. I almost, I know, I'm 13, almost I know. had When's two your birthday? April 13th. Oh, mine's which 12, is, dude. April well, it came out your birthday. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Your 10th? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, it's Aries up in this one. April 10, yeah. 12, 13? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got some Aries going on. Fuck, I got that. <laughs> so I just had that, my country record just came out in April. Nice. So it's not quite time to do another one yet. Hey, well, let's let's do a quick picture, man. No. Do you suck in a truck with Aaron and Mike. Yeah, man. Thank you guys for doing this.